How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are going to do our first oil change on the Bronco. Now it should be pretty simple. The oil filters up top, oil fill spout, and then underneath to get to the drain plug we do have some armor under here. But we don't have to take this front plate off, just this back one. So if we just loosen these two front bolts so we don't have to take those all the way out and just have to remove the back two and then this whole plate will come out and then we should be able to access everything and these are just uh, 15 millimeter and then just slide that out and so once that's out we got our composite oil pan here. Engine is hot. I, I was just out driving around a little bit. Got the engine up to temperature. Uh, so the oil should flow out fairly easily once I pull that plug. So let me get my uh, catch pan. Just grabbed channel locks. Let's see if that does the trick. That seems to have loosened it up. And there she goes. Now that oil come, is hot, comes out fast. So it's been about 15 minutes since I shut the car off, so I mean the oil, it's still. It's still pretty warm. And it came shooting out of there, but uh, yeah, let it drain for a while another 15 20 minutes make sure everything gets out because it's still I mean it's a slow stream now but it's pretty pretty steady I'll just let that drain out for a while and while that's doing that so while that's down there draining we'll go ahead it's an inch and a sixteenth fits on there All right, so got this backed off and just letting that drain down. We still got a pretty steady small stream down there. So we'll just let everything kind of sit for a bit and uh, drain out for as long as it takes. It's a uh, quarter after 11 now. So I'll let you guys know once that stops finally draining completely. Alright, so it is now 11.45, we're still getting, it just stopped with the steady drizzle, with the steady stream, it ran with a, just a small gentle stream for a really long time, but um, I think we're good to go now. Now we got a new oil filter, Motorcraft, uh, there's the part number, if you want it. Now this is the one that is supposed to supersede the one that came from the factory you see this one does not have any plastic rings on the top or the bottom the one from the factory you will see did have those plastic rings now I don't know why they provided I guess I don't know if they just had a crap ton of them still lying around the factory and that's why they're using those but um, it says that these are the newer ones that are supposed to replace that and this is what we're supposed to use so that's what we'll use this see right down in there 
set that in place. Now this should come with some new O-rings that we're going to replace on here. We got one, two, and then the third one up top. So let's go. I just got a small pick tool. And come off. And same for this small one. It's a little harder to come off, but get the tool under there should. It should come off. There we go. And these can just slide on. I'm putting that first edge in where it's supposed to be and trying to pull this over. Which of course is easier said than done. Now be careful if you're using sharp tools. I mean, this is, it's fairly sharp, but it's not super sharp, but you wanna make sure you're not actually tearing or poking or ripping up the O-rings at all. O-rings. Kind of going to be hard to see, but you see, make sure that the the bottom of that cover is perfectly seated around, that there's no O-ring sticking out or anything like that around the edges. That it all went in there. Hey, you should be able to feel. And if those o-rings start binding as you're putting it in there you should feel it uh, that went in pretty smoothly I didn't feel any resistance all right so this should be 24 foot pounds which I mean it's not not much that should be just pretty much snug it's 24 foot pounds but just for the sake of being by the book We'll do it. If you don't have a torque wrench, a just snug should do the trick. Um, yeah, let's go back down under. We'll put the drain plug back in there and then we can fill it up. Make sure our drain plug's good. Our O-ring's good. It should just twist on there. But any oil that we got down here it's not much just some that hit this cross member now I'm not going to put the uh, skid plate on there yet because we want to make sure nothing's leaking while we fill it up and yes I am using a funnel I'm not good enough to be able to pour into there without making a mess So I will use a funnel. It's supposed to be 5W30 that we're putting in there. 
and the manual does call for full synthetic. Uh, I'm using this Valvoline. Full synthetic, advanced. Yes, I know somebody will say I shouldn't be using this. I should only be using Motocraft, but it's to the same standards and this will be perfectly fine. Now the manual says it is seven quarts for this, for the Bronco. All right, let's see how much we actually drained out. All right, so right there we're at five quarts. Right there, we're just about five quarts. So that was five quarts. Let's see what else we got left in here. Doesn't seem like much. So, I don't know how well you could see that there, but we are just, just, we're at one quart. So, we had six quarts come out. Filled that up to five quarts, dumped it out, filled it back, dumped the rest, and I mean, we are right at one more quart right there so I, that was let me stick this back on my pan well yeah everything says that bronco's supposed to be seven quarts um even though so even though every other two points seven liter engine is six quarts uh, the Bronco is supposed to be seven quarts but six quarts what came out so whether or not there's a whole quart that's staying in the engine when you drain it or it's just six quarts I don't know uh, but I mean there we go six quarts is what came out and six quarts what I put back in and it's at the correct level so we'll go with six quarts so it's had plenty of time for all the oil to drain back down to the oil pan so let's see where we're sitting at now which it looks we look like we're good with just the six quarts All right, so now that we've got the oil changed, we just gotta make sure we let the car know. Let me just go to settings, down to oil life, reset the oil life, you just hold the okay button, it resets it, and it's as easy as that. That is how you change the oil on the 2.7 liter EcoPoost Bronco. So I hope that helps you out and I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.